Hi, I'm Paul from Barbecues Galore. One of the most popular questions we get asked about is gas line hookups. A couple of important points to remember when we're doing a gas line hookup is the size of the hose to use and the fittings required. Size of the hose will be determined by the BTUs and the number of components that you're hooking up. We have a 3 8 hose and we have a half inch hose. The size is considerably different, so you have to make sure you get the right hose. The other thing to be careful of is the shutoff that you have on your existing home. One way to check to see what shutoff you have on your home is on the side of the fitting, it will be stamped with a 3 8 or stamped with a half inch. That stamp will tell you what fittings you're gonna require from there. Your barbecue, your fire table, or your gas heater is also gonna tell you what's required. The number of BTUs that you use will determine the size of the hose. The other thing to consider is the length of the run. We sell hoses in five, 10, 15, and 20 foot lengths. To connect the hoses, you'll require a quick connect fitting, which is this guy here. You'll require a male nipple end that is gonna snap in to that fitting to make the connection. You will require some paste to put the fittings together. You can also use tape. Yellow tape is recommended because that is for gas. Do not use the white tape. And then there's also a tester that you can use. The tester is designed to put on after you put all your fittings together. What you want to check for is any concentric bubbling. That means bubbles with inside bubbles that continue to pop. That'll tell you that you have a leak, which means you need another quarter turn. And then you'll need to put the liquid on again, give it a wipe, and then you're set to go. Now, in some cases, you may have more than one appliance. You may have a barbecue, a heater, and or a fire table, in which case you can build yourself a T. This is a T. Looks like a lot of components going into it, but still easy to put together for the do-it-yourselfer. A couple of tools that you might require in order to put fittings together are a pipe wrench. Pipe wrenches are a little bit unique in their design. They are designed that as you tighten the pipe wrench to the fitting, give it a twist, the one that's below will hold the fitting, but they will both tighten together. So the fitting grips tighter as you turn it. If you don't have pipe wrenches, a simple adjustable wrench will do the same thing. If you find that hooking up all these fittings is intimidating, we have a barbecue butler service where our delivery team will come out and hook up that line for you. What's important for us to know is that you have a shutoff that's like this. This is a half inch quarter turn ball valve shutoff. You may also have one that has a lever on it. You must have this in order for our delivery team to come out and hook up your barbecue. A couple of ways that you can determine what size that is. You can look at the fitting itself. It'll be stamped with a size on it. If it's not stamped with the size, you can always use a tape measure and measure the inside diameter of the fitting. If you have the inside diameter of the fitting, bring that to us and we'll take care of the rest. If you're coming into the store, a great way to help us out is simply by taking a picture of the gas line fittings that you have. Once we have a picture, we can enlarge it, we can go in, we can see what size of fittings you have and what's required. A picture in this case really does speak a thousand words. You can always come in and see us at Barbecues Galore or check us out online at barbecuesgalore.ca.